What mode of transportation would you think be invented in the future? Wacky answers only. Cockroach trains. Because in the future, I think most animals unfortunately won't survive what mankind is going to put the earth through. But I do believe cockroaches stand a strong chance of survival. So, with that in mind, humans will be heavily reliant on cockroaches and humans you know we understand ingenuity we understand engineering we understand nano like nanotechnology and all that and what are cockroaches but like nanobots but in bug forms i mean we already we already have these toys called hex bugs which are basically robot cockroaches but we're not that far away so seeing how resilient cockroaches are that they can carry so many times their own weight that they can survive when even when their head is detached from them from, from their body for quite a while why would we not make them the ultimate form of transportation they're sentient you know, I've never seen, like, I don't, I seldom see, like, cockroaches, like, crashing into walls or anything like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but beetles are slow. Like, I'm sure, be like, beetles can be, like, like, the freight haulers, like, the slower ones. But cockroaches will be the Teslas. Beetles will be, like, the semi-trucks. Like, they'll, they'll be big, they're bulky, like, they carry a lot, but they go slow. Like, if you need to, pr if you need to protect cargo, yeah, you're gonna want beetles. But if you want, like, a Lamborghini, you want a Ferrari, you want a Tesla, cockroaches. No, not insect mechs, because insect mechs would imply that the that there was robotics behind them. Like they're trying to create robotic insects. No, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about like like robot insects, Jamie. I'm talking like straight up insects, just like tying like like hemp strings, just like stringing a whole bunch of robot like cockroaches together and turning them into a car, something. Hey, all I'm saying is, Pixar ever puts out a movie called Roaches. You all know where they, where they got it from. Or if one of y'all end up like going to work for like Pixar, you know, you can have that. Just let them know, let them know. Let them know good old Stephen Bones came up with that. The prequel to Disney's Cars, Roaches. Spiders, spiders, or spiders planes. No, I feel like spiders, spiders will be like relegated to, cause nobody likes spiders. Even, even like insects don't like spiders, right? So I feel like spiders will be like the new claw machines. Like the big ones, the big ones will like end up working at ports and all that, hauling like freight containers and all that off, like you know, off the beetles to trans to like put them onto the water beetles, and like so that water beetles can like ship them across the sea. Cause like they need something to like come down, grab it, pull it up, move it somewhere, and drop it off, right? And spiders are already built for that job. It just makes sense. It's not a bug's life with cars. That's insulting, Mint. It's a it's a fully original IP. It's more like Transformers, but with bugs. <laughs> Insecticons, then. No, but Insecticons are still... They're like robots, but disguised as insects. I am talking like insects disguised as robots. So it's like the other way around. It's more, it's more like a... I, I don't know what to call it. Deceptibugs? I don't know. <laughs> so like Optimus Prime, like, you know. Autobugs, roll out! And they all just like... They turn from cars to just like melt into a, a stack of like a whole horde of roaches and you'll just, like, just like run off into the distance. Bees swarms in the car. Maybe. What will bees do though? I mean, I don't think bees are gonna survive. Chances are we won't have bees in the future. We'll be stuck with wasps. And that's gonna be a pain in the butt because like, nobody likes wasps. One thing we all can agree on, nobody likes wasps, no matter what. Wasps are already, yeah, wasps are hills. That's why Ant-Man's other half had to be called the Wasp. That's like half the strategy of striking fear into enemies. They have a scary name. The moment enemies hear, hear the Wasp, they're like, oh my god, it's gonna be an a-hole. Let's get away. Let's stop committing crimes. The Wasps is coming to get us. Nobody likes the Wasp. Yeah, roaches. And they survive. Which I'm sure they will. The ultimate form of transportation. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pitiful. Really? I mean, everyone is pretty sure roaches will survive a nuclear fallout. I've never heard anyone say the same about beetles. Also, I just want to say that like beetles are privileged because they have unfair representation in the media, aka beetle juice. There's no roach juice. Cockroaches don't have a musical theater show about them. There needs to be more roach representation. I mean, come on, Hollywood. You're all scared of roaches. That was that movie, Joe's Apartment, back then. That was a while ago. And they never made a musical for that, as far as I know. Wait, roaches, 4,600 species. Beetles, 350,000 species. Most adaptation, hands down. Sue, th there is a reason why there's only like such a limited variety of like Oreos, Hershey's chocolate. It's not failure to adapt. It's just like, like their forms are just successful. Roaches with 4,600 4, species, it feels like they've, they've figured it out. You know, they got a winning strategy. Also, with beetles with that many species, like they're they're very that's gonna be very prone to like like tr inter tribal warfare within the beetles. I don't see good things happening for the beetles if they have too many like, species out there. 
Like, the only reason beetles have like 350,000 species is because they couldn't get it done with 3,500 species, you know? Just saying. Roaches are, they're like a startup, you know? Like an efficient corporation. No fat. All protein. Roaches have teeth in their stomach? What? For real? Like, humans are pretty successful, right? We are a pretty dominant species. In comparison with everything else, there's not really a lot of, like, variety of us, if you think about it, you know? You know when you buy furniture from Ikea, everything's kind of compatible with, with each other? Because there weren't too many adaptations, and whatever is there, it's all lean, mean, and it all works. It all works together. Synergy. I feel like beetles lack that kind of synergy. They're all too spread out, working on their own thing. Also, the fact that most of them, like, are worms in their larval stage. And they kind of look like the same kind of worms. Sometimes. It's bigger. It's in different sizes. It says a lot about how, how like, divided they are. Species, you know, it's a collective species. I feel be I feel beetle politics will, will be its downfall. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing to not have enough parties, representation. It's another when there's too much. Beetles too, too busy being successful. Look, it, how are they successful if there's like three, like hundreds of thousands of varieties of them? That means that a whole lot of them don't actually, can't actually like work well in other situations. When like with cockroaches, there's only like 3,000, like three or 4,000 varieties of them. So the chances of all of them like, like being able to occupy multiple grounds, that works as well, that works better. I mean, beetles, I mean, yeah, not ripping on them, but you know, too much variety. You just can't get everything done. Like cockroaches are like Google, right? So you have Google, you have YouTube, you have like Gmail, like they all work in synchronicity. There's not too many variants, but all of them perform their job pretty well. Beetles are like, like they're just everywhere. They're like, they've got like Bing, they got Yahoo, and they got like, like Opera, and then they got like uh, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge. I'm sure they all have their strengths and weaknesses, but there are so many of them that people don't know how to use them. And in time, they'll be faded and they'll just like fade into obscurity. And while, yes, there is like more choices and uh, more things you can do with them, it's also bigger, a bigger learning curve to deal with. I mean, as much as I don't like like Apple products and stuff, you know, like at least with Apple, like with the iPhone, like you get, you get an iPhone and the iPhone works and you're done, right? You get an Android device. Like bless your heart if you get something good. But if you like, but there are like a whole bunch of like off-brand Android devices out there with like different firmware and versions because there's so many adaptations and in the end, it's just a mess. Yeah, you will have people who love it, and like, it will have its extremely strong suits. But for the, for the regular layman who just wants, like, simplicity, ease of use, and efficiency, cockroaches had a way to go, man. And they last forever. The micro <laughs> microchip. <laughs> There's so many because they adapt to any ge geographic environment. But the cockroaches are all in, in all those environments as well. So like with 4,000 plus variants, cockroaches have taken over the world. But it took beetles like 350,000. And chances are within that 350,000, a good chunk of them, like, like they all, they're all in their little turf, but they can't cross over to other turfs. Like with the cockroaches, because it's just by by law of numbers, it, they should they should cover more ground per variant. You know, I think you're I think you're too invested in beetles, Sue. That you're, you're clouding your judgment. Did you buy beetle coin by any chance? Did you did you invest in beetle coin? Is that, is that why? Is that why you're pushing this on us? <laughs> like the beetle agenda. Did the beetle lobbies get you? <laughs> Were you a non-believer until the beetle lobbies got you? Are you in their pocket right now? It's like the corp, the beetle corporation, trying to push the new cryptocurrency, beetle coin. <laughs> Bitcoins. <laughs> Bitcoins. Oh my god! You deserve this. Bitcoins. It yeah. requires dark environment and a certain level. Of other creature. Wait, beetles don't do that. I've seen cockroaches in daylight. I've seen cockroaches in the light. I'm sure somewhere there are daytime cockroaches out there. Yeah, light means they get caught easier, which is why roaches, beetles had to evolve like so many different variants because they keep getting caught and they have to keep changing their strategy. And it just gets confusing. It's not that roaches never better themselves. Like, like, it's already a good design. Like a teacup is a good design. The teacup works. There's no reason to like redesign a teacup. A teacup does what it's supposed to do. Same like roaches. Like look at dogs. Like they start out as wolves. And wolves can like hunt down anything. And then we started like making a few extra variants of them. And then, okay, we had like, 
Like, we domesticated some, and we got a couple of good ones, but look at look at what we started making afterwards. I mean, they're cute, but they got progressive, progressively more and more useless, you know? They're cute and cuddly, and they're, like, they're amazing, but in a survival situation, a lot of dogs have become very, very useless. Not to say all of them are useless, but the OG breeds, like, those, those are pretty alright. But then later on, they started getting more and more, like, hmm, why do you exist? You know? The moment a pug is born, it's already got asthma. Like, why? Like, what's its purpose? It's an unyielding design pred predicated on animals other animals existing yeah which is why like in the future when all other animals have been wiped out roaches will stand tall because their their design is already superior they're they were already designed for the future beetles were just always catching up with everybody else like oh birds started like like waking up in the day oh beetles like oh let's let's like counteract the bird like oh we got nothing to eat in this in this realm oh you know what beetles come on let's let's become dung beetles and let's roll poop around like oh we gotta fight we gotta fight harder now oh come on beetles let's grow a huge horn so we can flip each other over and then we can't climb back up roaches can't be bothered man Ro roaches are like we got it down we know what we can do roaches they just stay the course because they know roaches know that god's got their back so they stuck with their design Beetles are just following the trend. Roaches are the trendsetters. Again, nothing wrong with the existence of either. But I'm just saying, in a situation where like you need to use insects for technological reasons, roaches are just like better at providing general purpose usage. You might need a beetle like for very, very specific things. But chances are like, you know, if you if you tweak a roach enough, you can get it done the same as well. Oh, roaches are the wannabe. Oh, oh here we go. If there's no other non-roaches species, roaches die out. No, roaches eat roaches as well. And then they streamline themselves and then they end up with even less designs and then they become even like more suited for survival. There's also a species of beetle called the bombardier beetle that can spray a 200 degree acid at attackers. But you see, roaches didn't have to do that. Roaches just, roaches just don't get attacked or just run or fly. Like you don't have to worry about your planet getting invaded if you can figure out how to make your planet fly away. Safely, of course. They're the kid that didn't study for the exam and got a C minus. Beetles skipped ahead three grades. Yeah, beetles skipped ahead three grades and couldn't figure out what they wanted to do in life. That's why that's why beetles are like the kid that has like five PhDs but still lives in their mom's basement because they don't know what to do with their life. And they're just looking at the roaches and like, man, man, he was a high school dropout. But look at him, man. He's running a successful company. Look at Bill Gates. Hmm? Steve Jobs, famous people, famous billionaires, man. They did not finish their education. Just saying, just saying. You know why? Because they spent their life specializing. They did not conform. They did not follow the trend. They set the trend. Like I'm sure a few beetles tried to set the trend, but I think only a few actually made it big, you know. Not all roach species can eat themselves. Which is fine, because not all beetle species will eat themselves either. I don't see how that's an improvement on anything, Sue. It's called self-improvement. A thing. I think roaches and their mere 4,600 can never become fish. <laughs> when you're already perfect, you don't need to self-improve. Beetles just need a planet and they're good to go. Yeah, but they'll never get to that planet because they're busy trying to figure out how to, how to adapt to like, everything else. Beetles are just like constantly trying to adapt to whatever's around them. Everything, every time something changes, a bunch of them like branch out and try to do something to, uh, to accommodate that. Cockroaches just like stay the path, they stay true, and they just follow their dreams. Because cockroaches know that they're enough. Cockroaches know that they're valid. Cockroaches know that they don't need to conform to whatever society wants them to be or needs them to be. Cockroaches know that they were born perfect and that they're enough, that they're valid. They don't have to be seen to feel like they're, they're seen. They understand that they have a pl their place in this world. So yeah guys, be like cockroaches. Follow your dreams. Yeah. Pew pew! Twitch! Be like beetles. Be the best. Being like beetles is trying, trying to be the best.